today I'll show you how to change the font style and font size on your iPhone on iOS 26. So this is the lock screen there. I have to use Face ID to unlock and it's iOS 26 has this transparent display. It's really interesting to use this. It's really interesting to see this transparent display and you have the control center and the lock screen itself. You can customize it the same way you can customize the the same way you can customize your home screen you can also customize the lock screen long press somewhere to customize the lock screen on your iphone on ios 26 long press somewhere on the home screen and it will ask for the password or face id i will use face id now and it's going to show me this option so long press and i can customize the lock screen i can swipe to another lock screen if i wanted to I could change the look of it, for example, this one, I could change to this one. You can have multiple lock screens and here you can choose customize. And on the lock screen customization page, here you have the clock and you can customize all those widgets there, but the clock here, you can make it bigger. You can customize the lock screen clock here, press on these handles. So press, press the handle and drag to make the clock bigger. If you have a picture, it will dynamically adjust to the size. It will dynamically adjust the picture size. So most of the time you will have the clock like that, but you can make it a bit bigger. I like to make it like this, bigger. I don't know, this handle feels a bit hard to press, but I guess I just not used to it. So you can make the clock bigger. I like to keep it somewhere this size. And if you want to change the font of the clock, you can use these settings. You can make it look like this uh, stencil style and you can also make the thickness of the font more. So if I, if I want to make the font, so for, for this font, for the default font, you have the option to resize it, but for the other fonts, you don't get an option to resize it. So I will choose this this font. I prefer this one. And then you can make the thickness of the clock itself more or less. I prefer, look how it's, it's interesting how the slider looks like. It's really nice. So you could make it very, very powerful. You can make it a really powerful clock looking like this like that and tap on the clock okay you tap on the clock to customize it again and i can change the color of it i could give it a tint oh that looks really nice kind of pinkish then you can choose any colors any colors you prefer so let's try this some kind of lime yellow color and the most important thing that you can choose that it's glass or solid. So you can choose the style of the clock. If you prefer not to have it set as glass, you can choose solid and the color to reset it. This is an option like that. So when you press, when you finish changing it, you press done. And now this is the clock. This part is a bit hard to see. So I will change it now. I will change it. If I could change it to solid now, that looks really nice actually. So yeah, solid. And customize again. I prefer to keep the glass effect on and keep this default. Maybe choose a yellow or this green, <laughs> lime green, I don't know. Something like that. But maybe black is really the, the best option here. So I change the size, I change the so I change the size, I change the font also, and now I press done and it's it's there. And if you really want to see have maximum visibility here, you in the customize options you will choose solid. This is the most the the most out of it you get the most visible kind of clock. It still, it still doesn't look like it was changed. This is this is iOS 26 beta. This is iOS 26 beta, so it might not be exactly 
it might not be exactly working as you want it. So let's try solid. Okay, and done. And it's changing back to that one. I don't know why. Okay. Maybe maybe there is a setting here I chose that it doesn't like it, so I could try this one. Done. So you can have you can have all this. I don't really I don't really prefer this font. I like the font where I can make it a little bit bigger, like that. Maybe not too. Maybe not. Maybe not too big, but I prefer to have it somewhere like this. And I could add widgets here if I wanted to. I could add some weather widgets. So I could have the weather there under the clock. You could have the weather here, some weather information on the lock screen. I think it's not bad to have it. So I press done now. It's done. So it saved. It saves the weather information and it saves the clock also. And that's it. That's how you, this is how you can customize the clock, make the clock bigger on your iPhone, iOS 26. You can also remove the transparency effect, but this doesn't work really well yet. Eventually I'm sure it will be, eventually I'm sure everything will be fine. So I have now face ID, it's unlocked. And you can change this wallpaper, you can choose between them. I mean, it's easy to have different versions of this, uh, the wallpaper, the lock screen, and you can have with different widgets also. So you can, like I have one with the weather here. I use this one. And the clock, and the clock, it's really, it's a nice way to change it there. You can choose different modes for light, dark, this is for, for the effect of this wallpaper and I choose automatic. I prefer to keep it like that. And you can also disable the depth effect here. So it's more visible. You see here how it's changing when I disable it. So let's try like this. Let's see if it changes back. So now you see better. The clock shows better. But I will prefer to keep I prefer to keep the depth effect on because it looks more interesting like this. If you already use iOS 26, let me know in the comment section below how you find it. If you like this kind of glass effects for the folders and the icons, I really like it a lot. It's really interesting. It's a very interesting change from the previous version, iOS 18.5. Now it's iOS 18. Now it's on iOS 26. Thanks for watching.